Hi. <clears throat> okay, how to check the fault codes on a Subaru. It's not possible to actually film from this angle what to do, but I'm just going to show you and then I'm going to do it, but the camera is not going to be able to be in my hand at that time. So, what you do, turn the ignition on, then you turn the lights to on, so they should have been off, turn the lights to on. You then press that four times, your AB trip. You then turn your lights off, then you go four times on that. Then you turn your lights on and you go four times on that again. It will then show you your BCU body control module and your um, your body control and your uh, engine status or your engine faults. So let's try and do this. Now I have tried literally six times to attempt this um, with the um, while this has been in my hand and I have just failed every single time. In fact, I thought I was gonna oh makes you go mental. Anyway, so let's try this. I'm just trying to wedge the phone. As you, you probably all know now, I just do all this stuff with a phone and like, it's just ridiculous, aren't I really? Okay. So I get that wedged there. Ish. Am I gonna stay? Okay, right, so. Ignition off, lights off, because you're gonna go mental if you start doing it the wrong way. So lights off, so ignition on, lights on. One, two, three, four, lights off. One, two, three, four, lights on. One, two, three, four, there you go. So there's your P code, so that's your engine fault code. Uh, you can now cycle between your fault code, that's actually a, um, that P0037 is a code to say that my second oxygen sensor is buggered. It's not, but that is my P code, that's the only P code I've got, and that's a C code, that's my body control module telling me that my aircon gas compressor pressure is low. So, right, this isn't easy, okay, this works for most, um, this works for most Subarus, but it is not easy to do. When you try and do it with a camera in your hand, it really doesn't work. Um, it's because you basically need your hand on that, yeah, at the same time, on the same time, but almost instantly you're pressing that. So look, now I'll show you again how it's not going to work. So we're going to go ignition off. Okay, there it is. So it's, it's cleared it. Okay, so it's no longer codes. Make sure you start always, you'll end up, when you're trying to do this, you'll end up leaving it switched on. But anyway, so I'm going to go ignition on, click that on. One, two, three, four, there. Click that off. One, two, two, three, four, there. Click that on. One, two, three, four, there. It doesn't do it, okay? So you actually need your hand on that at the same time as it's over there. So look, if I put this back here and just try and show you again. By the way, I'm trying to wedge your phone sideways in the car. It's not easy. Um, what do you reckon? Catch that there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, let me just lower that down a little bit if I can. So what I'm gonna do is ignition off. I'm gonna go lights off, ignition on, that lights on, one, two, three, four, off, one, two, three, four, on, one, two, three, four. There you go. So you see, if you're using two hands and no camera, it will come on. And then what you do is you use that to cycle through your different codes. So if you've got more than